Thanks for stopping by the channel. This is going to be a voiceover. So what we see here is uh, one of two parts. Harold Waters Amateur Redneck Workshop uh, created a ball turner. He, he uh, molded it up and poured the aluminum to create this and asked me to do the machining on it. So this is uh, the start of it. Um, it's going to be voiceover, lots of clips. Uh, just showing you basically the status and condition of the first unit, the yoke, and we'll look at the actual frame later. And uh, I go through the various ways of machining. Here I was talking about how I was possibly going to set it up in the mill. And uh, we'll move over and we're going to look at the mill now. And we're uh, talking over it, so I'm going to mute the clip. So I've muted the clip. So I've got the uh, yoke in the in the mill, and I apologize for the lighting on this. Um, the LED lights just really blow out the camera. Um, you can see that I got rid of the couple pieces of aluminum, and I actually have a um, adjustable parallel there. And so I'm basically cleaning off the ARW, which was casted backwards, uh, um, and then I'll turn it over and machine the other side. So we're just going to hit it, hit it and get it and go pretty fast right here. With the part here in the fixture, now I'm cleaning off the, what I call them, the barrels, the rounds. So I'll be doing both ends and also doing the insides of both barrels. So all four surfaces of the barrels get machined um, in line. Now I'm machining the inside of the barrels. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've sped this up. I'm trying to do it in four times speed uh, to save you guys the uh, punishment of watching things. And I'll be clipping quite a bit. So basically, uh, just machining off the inside of the barrel so it's true to the outside of the barrel. Uh, and we're going to do uh, both faces here. 
So all four faces will be all in a line. Getting the vacuum in there to clean things up a little bit. Um, nothing, nothing special going on here. Well, before I started this in the mill, I did put it in the lathe and just center drilled it. I was just doing it for kind of yucks to see what I'd end up with. And this guy came pretty good on center. Just eyeballing it, it looks good. But when I turned it around in the lathe chuck and did it again, it was basically off center. And it looked like it was spinning fine, but uh, it's it looks off center to the casting. So I think I'm going to go ahead and set it in the mill vertically and come down on the good hole that I see. That's my plan. As you can see, I got an extra long drill bit here. So I can actually drill through the top barrel, which is on center, and uh, pick up the bottom barrel. Uh, you see I got the vacuum there. Uh, if you haven't seen in the past, I have my vacuum on a foot switch. So I can actually start and stop the vacuum with just uh, hitting, the, hitting the pedal on the floor, which is really nice and handy. So this is an undersized drill. I was going for uh, uh, 0.250, quarter inch. This is an undersize, and then I was going to come back through with a reamer and ream it uh, a, a thou over 250. Um, I'm going to use the, the quarter inch for my locating as I continue to move on through the uh, machining of this. So the yoke now is on the same pallet, but I've moved it over to the rotary table and I am machining the inside radius or the inside circumference of the yoke uh, to clean up all of the uh, casting uh, marks that were there from the uh, casting of it.
Okay, now that I have the ends trued up and I've got the spacer in between there, I can clamp it in the vise. I have it sitting on blocks so that it's the, the surface with the backwards ARW is parallel to the bottom surface. And now I'm going to basically machine to get the edge of the barrels cleaned up and in line. And then I think I mentioned earlier, I turned it over and taken the backwards ARW off, but this is where I'm actually doing it. So the uh, I'm going to stop this uh, discussion and we're just going to go to uh, four times speed to move it as quick as we can. Here I decided to put a flat in the center of the uh, ray, uh, circumference there just for machining purposes as I move on. Just a very slight touch off and get a flat there. That's where the tooling will go through for actually the ball cutter. Well, I had the uh, setup. I thought it would be uh, smart to put a, at least a dimple where the tooling would go through. I later figured out that was a mistake for the location. To clarify, when I said this was a mistake for the location, I was putting it in dead center. Uh, but in reality, the tool needs to be actually located just a little bit low, and you can move the yoke up to get the tool on center. So uh, I didn't drill all the way through. I just basically ended up putting a dimple here for location, but uh, later realized uh, looking at it, um, looking at my own unit that I have that that was not the best place to put a through hole, which I ended up I didn't do.